right folks, it's the 20th of June, 2022, the solstice, the summer solstice. Basically, it will, we will, although it's supposed to be the, also the first day of summer tomorrow, from tomorrow we lose two minutes a day of evening light, quarter of an hour a week. An hour a month. So in a month's time we'll have an hour less. It makes it a very, very short summer. And a very long winter. In my mind, I have nine months of coldness and three months where it's sort of all, you know, in between. It's not consistent. We have lots of rain and wind. We don't have proper summers anymore. We had three days the other day. Someone said, that's our summer. And we've got three days now, and then next weekend, rain again. You can blame it on flipping climate, whatever they want. Now, the reason I've stopped here, around about half past ten in the morning, uh, or eleven o'clock, no, say eleven, it's probably eleven o'clock now. I came, I come, when I come off the top here, Instead of coming down the coom, I, off, I sometimes come over the top here. It's very steep, very steep, and it's very exposed straight away into the sunshine. So I'm not going up that one. I'm going up another coom I discovered a couple of months ago, near Weecombe Hill. It's not Weecombe Coom though. It's, it's a little coom that just comes off. Very, very tiny coom it is, and I discovered it. So I've stopped here just to show you that that is a way and for all I know I could be coming back down there later. But I am actually on the Coleridge Walk where Wordsworth and Coleridge roamed. This is the Coleridge Walk and um, I'm doing it for a little while and then I'm going to be, I am going to be going up but it's a, it's a shorter little coom and I will eventually get up on the top and it will be uphill until I get to Bick Knoller Post. I'm going to try and more or less finish off what I left off, which I didn't finish on last week. Which was, I think, it was last Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I came over here and I did the Smith's Coombe. It only seems like yesterday I did it actually. But it's not, it's, it's going on five or six days ago. And uh, it could have even been Friday, I don't I, do, I can't remember actually. But anyway, I thought I'd do a, a gradual walk up. It's a, it's a lovely bluish day today. We're supposed to be having three or four days like this. This is the week to go camping if you wanted to go. But only up to Friday, then rain. I'm still hoping I can squeeze in a couple of days of very gentle backpacking over to Porlock. I'm still hoping I might be able to do that. Anyway, over there we've got the village of Bicknoller with its lovely church of St George. I just got off the bus down there. Good connection, the train and bus I, I get actually. Basically I'm on the Coleridge Way and I'm looking for it. <coughs> it's not that there, Sheila. God, I hope it ain't gonna be like that either. This, this little coom I'm looking for could actually end up looking like that. Look. I don't think that's the one. No, it's not, it's a bit further along. Yeah, I'm just doing an alternative route today. Um, whether it'll be any good for me, I've got no idea. Whether it'll be a mistake. We won't know till we start climbing up this coombe. Which might be totally overgrown. Because when I walked down it, it was, it, it was like the end of, end of winter. So it wasn't, we weren't their friends. You know. Yeah. 
I've got a feeling it's down here somewhere. And then, then I go up. What I remember. I think I'll remember it when I get to it. Right, so it's a lovely day. 20th of June, 2022. I had a grandson 18 last week and a granddaughter 16. And then in a month's time, less than a month now, I've got another granddaughter who will be 19. And my son, towards the end of the July, will be in his early 40s. And another granddaughter in 1st of August will be 26. God, look at these lovely trees. Actually, yeah, it's a bit further because I can remember walking past these beautiful trees. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at all the foxgloves in abundance. God, so many. Now, if this coombe that I come to in a minute is totally overgrown, I have decided I'll walk on to Weakham and go up Weakham Coombe. <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens. But I will try and get to Old Foxen House because that is the plan today. But look at these lovely trees, everyone. It's a gorgeous. I do love it out here, you know. It's a special place. Yeah, it's just along here a little bit. What I did, I saved a bit of time. I just bombed through the village. The toy, the village hall was open, so I didn't have to go and ask for the key for the ladies. I just walked in and went, and that was good. Very good. They are one of these quintessential English villages, which I hope my ancestral village of Borough Green, which is very quintessential, by the way. Hello, Big Oak. Aren't you gorgeous? Aren't you? What a lovely view you've got right over your land. Yeah, I can see Dunkery Beacon really well from here, sticking out in the distance. I don't know if it'll come out on the camera. I'll go right over and see. Let me see, I don't know if it will. Is that it? Um, could be, could be that one or... No, it'll be over that way, Sheila. Well, it's over there anyway. Dunkery Beacon. They can see it easy in from that view. Yeah, we're coming to the coombe now. I recognise the big dip. I do recognise the big dip here. But I'll just I'll keep the camera rolling until... Uh, until I get down here a bit. Because the thing, like I said, if that coombe going up is very, very overgrown, I won't go up it. I'm not going to try and go up through tick and uh, um, snake infested ferns. But I've got a feeling it's well used. Oh yeah, the stream's coming down. Looks quite wide there, doesn't it? Yeah, there's even, that's right, there's a little, little post there, see? And I reckon they'll be all right, so I'll be going up there in a second. Okay, just take some photos. Right. I don't know, but I've, been, I've taken some pictures of some deer. Right there. But it, I can't really see this. Without a viewfinder, it's really hard. I'm having to guess. I think they're there. They've been staring at me. They heard the camera click and the flash. That's my first deer of the day. Like I said, it's very difficult with this camera. Very difficult to focus. They'll move in a minute. 
One's not mo one put his head up, or her head up. Almost like a giraffe, the head came up. And um, they stopped feeding and they're staring and their ears are twitching. Um, so that's the first deer for me today. They disappear really rapidly, so I didn't, what I did, I went in the shelter of that tree to help me see, to have a piece of chocolate. Yeah, they're moving now. And to take my jumper off. Now with my Sony, I would have homed in on them. I would have had them in my focus, no problem whatsoever. They're starting to move now. But you think, do you think I'd be able to get them in focus? I can't even see. I'm having to guess from that big tree as a foot as a, like a focal point and try and see if I can. Oh, it's gone now. It is moving though. But to be able to see it, I can't see a thing. I'm just pointing and hoping I can see something. I'm not going to bother. They are on the move though. Yeah, they're on the move. I can see quite a few of them now. So this is Sheila going up this little tiny coom. <coughs> so gentle snake up. It's not the end of the climb when I get up here, but it's more of a zigzag. And uh, <coughs> the Coleridge walk, a small section of the Coleridge walk I did, it's like a warm, a warming up, and uh, and it's cool. It, it, it warmed me up a bit. <laughs> it got my breathing going. <laughs> the deer, I can still see the deer with the naked eye, easily. It's still staring at me. And it's like, oh, she was back. <laughs> she was back. Still looking for others. What takes the time for me? Though I want to get over to Holford, what takes the time is getting out a bit longer. It's a big climb to get out of it. Whichever way you go. I mean, here I've got to go right up to that tree at the top there. I've got to go right up to that. I can still see that deer. And it is still staring at me. It's around about there. It's, I think that might be it there. Yeah, it's still staring at me. But I can't keep the... Oh, he's on the move now. He's moving. But with the Sony, I'd be able to follow him. I'd be able to follow him going up the hill. I can't with this one, because I can't see the... No viewfinder. You've got a screen, but it's all dark and bright and you cannot focus with it with your eyes well I can see him as clear as day He's standing out saying, yeah I'm standing out here I see you I see you Sheila you're in there somewhere I don't know if that's him there I can't see see Useless for the, anything like this. It might be all right with um, what do you call it? I can't. I just can't see nothing. Tell the truth. Just can't see nothing at all. Could be around about there. Now you've got the sun glaring in your eyes. It's impossible. That's why I don't like about it. I can't really use it properly. Not like I did me up Sony. Can't use it. 